Within this video, we're going to continue working through our Lesson 3 student guide of our Rue Goldberg machines. Specifically, we're actually going to be working through the Activity Engine Watermelon KS. Now, if you're wondering why we aren't going through the Interface Challenge, because there is no actual video for this waterfall of melons. So go ahead and follow along here in the PDF, or go ahead and follow along here in the video. So in this video, we want to go ahead and shatter a watermelon as opposed to just cutting it in half. But we need a nice clean playing field, so let's go ahead and get rid of everything that we see on screen and go ahead and just play in a blank area. So what I'm going to do is up here inside of my levels palette, I'm going to right click on this level 3 wedge, come up here to change streaming method, and just set this to blueprint. Like so. And then I want to go ahead and hit the little eyeball to hide everything. Next, I'm actually going to click on this persistent level up here at the very top, right click on it, and then come down here to where it says make current. This is going to ensure anything that I add to this world, this level is going to be inside of this one and not be hidden because it's in one of these other ones. So the first thing we're going to need is an actual watermelon to shatter. So let's go into our content drawer down here in the bottom left hand corner and make sure that we are in the content section up here at the very top. And we're gonna use this search again, and we're gonna search for S underscore watermelon. And what we're looking for specifically is this right here. So our S underscore watermelon, I'm just gonna click and drag this into the scene and then just set it right here on top of the counter. Now to actually fracture this, we're gonna to need to change the mode that we're in. And up here in the top left-hand corner, you'll see that we are currently in selection mode. So let's click on that drop down, and we're going to change this to fracture. Now we're going to get a few new things here in the UI, but go ahead and follow along, you'll be fine. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that this is actually selected because we want to go ahead and create a new fracture. So we're going to go ahead and click this button with our watermelon selected. Now Unreal Engine is going to ask us where do we want to save this new thing that we're actually creating. So what we're going to do is go into content, come down here into static meshes. Let's go ahead and open this one up, come down here into our food and scroll down just a little bit further and we're going to go into our watermelon. I'll go ahead and leave this on screen so you can see where we just went. And then just click this Create Geometry Collection button down here at the very bottom. With the Geometry Collection now created, we can tell the engine how we want to fracture it. And we're going to come over here to the far left-hand side underneath the Fracture section. And specifically, we're going to go ahead and use this uniform one right here. So we'll click on that. And we'll get some more information that's going to pop up in this Fracture tab right here. And I'm going to actually hover my mouse right here on this little line between this little level statistics and the Fracture area and click and drag until this comes all the way down until I can see a blue Fracture button. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that one. And over here on the far right hand side, we now have a Fracture hierarchy. And right here between these two, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and drag this down. And in this case, it's going to be random. I got 14 different pieces. You may get more, you may get less. It's not really going to matter. Just so that we actually see these over here, we know that it's actually been fractured. So now let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this up off of the surface and come up here and press the play button and it'll drop. Now you'll notice two things will happen. It'll drop and we didn't actually turn on physics. It's smart enough to know that it needs to be a physical object. And two, it didn't actually shatter. So let's go ahead and fix that shattering problem. I'll go ahead and stop the simulation. And with this object selected, I'm gonna come over here into my details panel. And I'm going to find this section right here where it says geometry collection component. It's actually underneath the root. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And then in the search bar just below, we're gonna search for the word threshold. And we're going to see a section in here that has damage threshold. This first index is a huge number. Let's just change that to one. Now, when we press the play button, it'll actually shatter when it lands. Let's go ahead and just stop that and give it another shot so you can see that. But wait, there's more. There's one more thing that we can actually do to make this really cool. You may have noticed that the inside of the watermelon looks exactly the same as the outside. Now, if you missed it, let's go ahead and zoom in down here. You can see that everything's just kind of this green stripey bit. So let's go ahead and stop that. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the inside material to be different than the outside material. To do that, a very quick way is to make sure that your watermelon is selected and press Control or Command B on the keyboard and it will open up the content browser and it will actually select this asset, which is really handy. So let's go ahead and double click on this. 
We're going to get another floating window with a bunch of information. Don't worry, we'll walk through this nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and just dock this up above by clicking and dragging on the tab and dragging it up above. And then in this search section right here, I'm going to type in the word materials. And we're going to be confronted with three icons here in the center underneath our materials section right here. And I'm most interested in this index one. So this one right here. I'm just going to click on this drop down and I'm going to go ahead and choose this MI, which stands for material instance, watermelon inside. And now this index one, the inside of the watermelon will look like the inside of a watermelon red with a bunch of black seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I save this up here in the top left hand corner of this little interface. And I can then just go ahead and close this down by clicking on the little X right here. So now when we drop this, we should see a different material on the inside and the outside. Like so. So there you have it. Now you know how to actually take a static mesh, turn it into a geometry collection, shatter that geometry collection using the fracture method, and then adding a different material to the inside so that it's different than the outside.